Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a WAMP server running on Windows Server 2019 on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon Web Services and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed and pre-configured WAMP server. So simply click on continue to subscribe. And after that, from this product page, you need to click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to complete. Now once the subscription validation is done, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once satisfied with the settings, simply click on continue to launch. And then from this website, you get two different options to launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. Now what I like to do is that I would like to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now within this tab we can customize a virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name so I'm going to call this as WAMP and then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. After that scroll down and choose the instance type according to your requirements and then choose a key pair for RDP connection. Now you can create this key pair over here or you can choose an already existing key pair. After that you can leave the network settings as default and then click on launch instance once you are satisfied. After that wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. So for this simply click on view all instances. Now as you can see that our virtual machine is currently in the running state. So right click on it and then click on connect and then simply shift over to RDP client. Now in this tab you can see that it shows our public DNS, the username but the password is missing. So simply click on get password. Now you would be brought to this page from where you need to browse for your key pair. Now once that is done, the content of your key pair are going to show over here. So simply click on decrypt password and this time around you would be able to see your password for the RDP connection. Now to connect to this virtual machine simply hit windows and then type in remote desktop connection and then you're going to copy this public DNS and paste it inside over here and then you're going to click on show options and you're going to change the username to administrator. After that simply click on connect and then it is going to prompt you for the password. So copy this password and paste it over here and then click ok. After that it is going to prompt you once more that you're trying to connect to a remote host so click yes and then wait for the RDP connection to be established. Once the RDP connection has been established you also need to wait for the windows server to completely load. Now once the windows server has completely loaded you want to start the service of WAMP stack. So simply double click on this icon to start a WAMP server. Now this is going to take a few moments depending upon your instance type. But once the WAMP is running, you would see this icon right over here. If the icon is green, which means that all of the services are running. Now simply left click on it and you can see multiple options like localhost, PHP My Admin, and if you want to visit other tools then simply right click on this WAMP icon and you would be able to see WAMP settings and WAMP tools. Now if you want to enable MariaDB or MySQL then head over to WAMP settings and then make sure that these two are ticked according to what you want. And after that what you can also do is that you have another tool which is to invert the default database from MySQL to MariaDB and vice versa. Anyways if you want to access PHP MyAdmin then simply double click on this icon on the desktop. Now inside this PHP login page the username is root and the password for MariaDB MySQL and PHP MyAdmin is this virtual machine's instance ID. Now to get this ID simply minimize this instance and here you can see the ID written over here. So copy this instance ID and paste it inside the password field and then hit go. Now this is going to allow you to access the default database which is MySQL. Now remember the default database is running on the port number 3306 and the secondary database which in our case is MariaDB is running on port number 3307 just like that. Now let's talk about adding or creating a new virtual host. So for this first of all open up the explorer click on this PC then click on C head inside WAMP and then head inside www and in here suppose that I want to create a virtual host site named as CIS so I would create its folder over here. So create a new folder and let's name it as CIS folder. 
head inside over here and then you want to left click on this web icon and then click on local host. After this, simply scroll down and at the very bottom left, you can see this option that says add a virtual host. So click on it. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can name your site something like CIS and then you need to pass in the complete path for its folder. So head over to the explorer, copy the URL and paste it in this field. And after that, you can leave the local IP as blank and then simply click on start the creation of virtual host. Now this may take a little while, but once that is done, you need to manually restart the DNS or WAMP. Now to do this, simply right click on the WAMP icon, head over to tools and on the very top we have this option that says restart DNS. So simply click on it and wait for the WAMP DNS to be restarted. Now once the WAMP server has been restarted, we can confirm a local host by simply heading over to WAMP, clicking local host and then at the bottom we have this site name as CIS so simply click on it. Now you can see that our virtual host CIS is running on port number 18. Now that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now make sure to check out the different tools and different settings of WAMP by simply right clicking over this icon. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post listing on how to set up WAMP server on Windows Server 2019 running on Amazon Web Services. And also the link for this marketplace listing for Amazon Web Services of WAMP server Windows 2019. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.